that we have uh, affected some change on. Which one would you like to talk about first? Uh, well, while sidearms are probably the most notable. Is that right? Yeah, we, we didn't change those at all. Okay. So instead, we'll start with shotguns. All right. Um, and so I believe yeah, yeah, Greg yeah, has shotguns. a Matador 64 in his hands. Uh, it's a little gnome primary or some sort of special <laughs> weapon primary. that's seen some use as of late. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, so a couple of things we've done are, for starters, we have significantly decreased magnetism and entirely turned off aim assist when firing a shotgun. Oh, from that's pretty cool. Hip. You're going to have to aim that thing. You're going to have to aim it. Yeah. So yeah, so you either want to be real so close no or uh, you want to be zoomed people. in. Um, okay. Kind of goes against what I do, but still. And then, yeah, if you zoom in and do the, the walk around trick. It doesn't stick trick. at all. Oh, look how sticky that is. And yet, if he unzooms. Yay. Now, here, go ahead and unzoom. And do the sticky trick. Oh, not as sticky. See? Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. doing some stuff. Uh, and then the other thing we did uh, that is, again, intended to put the shotgun kind of more in its in its place and it back to its corner. Uh, is we've significantly decreased the in-air accuracy of shotguns. <laughs> and so you can't just, I mean, occasionally you, know, you get lucky oh, yes. with a shotgun, right? It does sure. spread. Yes. You, you'll occasionally kill a yes, guy. But very tweet. often these days, if you try, you were on the ground. Oh, my God. That. If you were trying to uh, <laughs> kill a guy from the air, you're very likely to, to significantly miss. Well, there, well, he was right oh, up on yes. the guy. I mean, that's cheating, right? There you go. Oh, okay. vindication. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I believe Greg has some other notes. And then I will oh. Welcome back, Guardians, to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, we're going to talk about the patch that we've seen, or at least on the Twitch stream, you know, all the stuff that they showed off. There's still more to be revealed with the patch notes to do with this update, so stay tuned for that in the future. I'm not going to go through it bit by bit and in depth. There'll be other YouTubers who do that. I just want to talk about things that I liked about this update. But firstly, that little intro that you just saw, if you do not understand what that is, um, months and months and months ago, I was playing a game of Crucible and I kept getting killed by someone who was just jumping up and shotgunning down and killing me and I got frustrated and angry so I tweeted out the shotgun in air accuracy needs to be nerfed in some way shape or form, I can't remember. And then I had like hundreds and hundreds of people messaging me hate, telling me to die, telling me to quit Twitter, that I know nothing, that I'm shit at Crucible, that I don't understand how Crucible works and to leave it to other people in the YouTube community. I had other YouTube content creators go against me as well in a professional way, but you know, they were kind of speaking down to me in some ways. It just made me feel like, fuck this. To the point where I even left Twitter for like a week because it was just constant hate, constant tweets constant everything i'm still getting tormented about it to this day through xbox messages when i when people see me in crucible they message me saying like oh maybe they should in decrease um, in air accuracy for shotguns it's one of these things that became a meme became viral and i had to block like 250 to 300 people on my twitter in one night because of the amount of hate that i was getting so to see this updated and they actually see the statistics and agree with me is massive massive vindication for me so i wanted to include that reaction for you guys now before everyone starts saying oh i can't believe bungie listen to you bungie don't ever listen to me bungie do not like me they don't like me i had dj and cosmo both following me i got into a public and more so private altercation with dj and he unfollowed me and then cosmo unfollowed me so if you think that they listen to me of all people in this community you are wrong they just looked at the stats and saw that shotguns were too good in the air like i suggested so that was nerfed right Precision damage removed, aim for the chest is what you need to be doing now. Improved damage in PvE, which is great. You know, there's no sticky aim anymore. So shotguns now are really more of a cleanup um, kill. So you do damage with your primary, they get too close, switch to your shotgun, boom, kill them. That's what I like to see. Um, no more, you know, charging in and sliding and getting an easy kill or jumping up and getting an easy kill, hovering above a door when people to run through. That is just not going to be the case. Like my face is actually red right now because I'm so worked up about this in air um, accuracy nerf. It's just amazing. So, you know, pulse rifles got hit pretty hard. High caliber rounds has been changed across the board. Um, you know, pulse rifles. They needed it, to be honest. I just hope they haven't nerfed it too far to the point where they're useless now because I love pulse rifles and my favorite weapons. Auto rifles have had a general buff to everything, especially, I believe, just the slow rate of fire ones. I don't know about the high rate of fire ones. At this point, I was still going like, oh my God, in there, accuracy nerf, and I just wasn't listening. But, you know, I'm happy that auto rifles seem to have a place now in um, Destiny because I was a big, big user way back in the beta of auto rifles. I feel like it's a great decision. 
um, because it just offers more variety and more fun in my opinion. Um, hand cannons have gone back to like year one where precision is rewarded to actually hit people in the head. You will be rewarded for it. None of these ghost bullets or anything like that. The only difference is now is that the range drop off. So if you're further away from someone, the damage like just keeps cutting in half and cutting in half so you need to be close up to someone to do precision damage but if you are great with accuracy of hand cannons you are going to absolutely dominate hawk moon i reckon is going to be super super fun um special changes is something i'm really interested in i hated special because it wasn't there enough but it was also too viable in the same way and it looks like they've really changed how it's going to work so special will now spawn every 60 seconds which is great but every time you die you completely lose every single piece of special ammo that you have so if you have 12 bullets in your shotgun because you picked up two cases and you die you lose that and you have to wait for the next case they increase 60 seconds on the spawn timer so that you know it's constantly coming into the game so there's gonna be 10 special ammo a game pretty much so that is awesome i'm i'm loving that um special no not special sorry, super changes hunter hunger and blamed the changes to some of the um supers are pretty good i like how hunger and blade even though it's all i ever use now um you cannot just get instantly massively healed with hunger and blade you will get immediate regen for your health but you won't get immediate regen for your shields but any sort of big bump of health that you do get from a kill will carry over into your shield so you won't get completely full on health and shields but you will get a massive jump up so basically you are more killable while you are in um, your blade dancer the throwing knife can now cause solar damage which is pretty cool for pve not that big of a deal warlock has had the storm thunder snipe completely nerfed um not to the point where it's useless but the range on it was stupid and ridiculous there was no real talk of the aim assist lock on so you know when you used to just slam and you turn around like 180 and hit someone behind you there's no talk of that yet but there is more stuff to be revealed in the patch notes and further down the line closer to when the patch is released landfall now if you choose to have landfall and you use it your super will burn down quicker so it's giving you an option to use some of the other perks like the chaining um double capabilities instead of landfall so if you've got like um the gauntlets can't quite remember what they're called right now um and the jewel thingy your storm caller is just going to be the same as it was um titan the juggernaut shield has been disabled in air after a short amount of time so you're not going to be completely in like invincible where you can just run through anything you can still jump up into the air and have protection but after a short amount of time it's going to disappear so you know those are the things that i liked about this update this patch and i just wanted to talk to you guys about it right now i'm so so happy that i was vindicated with my shotgun nerf that everyone hated on before i know that's not the point of this video but I am looking forward to seeing what Crucible is going to be once this patch is released. I feel like I can get back into the game and safely enjoy it and want to play it on a daily basis again. So expect some live commentaries when uh, the patch comes out. Maybe another video on the full patch notes. I'm sorry my face is red. I'm just a little bit pumped up and a little bit excited. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you want to <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. I have been easy now. And you guys... Even you haters who doubted me have been awesome.